I want to take a moment and explain to you that that willingness is being seen in California where our tent is going up and record crowds are showing up. Nobody can explain it. It is, you'll, you'll see, in fact, in a few days, the miracle of what's going on in California will be on the cover of Charisma magazine. You'll see it. That's how widespread the news is about California. Gang leaders saved. People healed. Nights where as many as 900 have come forward to be born again. The crowds coming in the most notorious cities on the most notorious highway, Highway 99. During the pandemic, when the church was locked down, I committed a felony. You know, that'll make it to YouTube, you know that one? And uh, I've already been featured in Newsweek, the Huffington Post, and Right Wing Watch, all of these people that are desperate for lies. In any event, that'll be on there. Mario Murillo admits he committed a felony. <laughs> the pandemic hit. We had five tent crusades lined up. Every one of the venues called us and said, no way can you do a crusade here. We were shut down. We didn't have an opportunity at all to do one crusade because Gavin Newsom shut us down, locked us out, and they said, you can't meet, we're not going to give you a permit. In Matthew chapter 7 is a verse that will explain what I'm about to tell you is the most astonishing miracle you will ever hear about a tent crusade. Jesus is preaching on the Mount of Olives and he says, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you. And then he goes on to explain, because your God is a good father. And if you being evil do know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will God give gifts to his children? Now, watch what I'm going to tell you, and never forget this. Man, I feel the power of God right now. No, I don't say that. My wife will tell you. I don't say that. I'm up here on this stage, and there is a miracle working authority of the Holy Spirit so Matthew chapter 7 ends with this wonderful sermon about how good God is and how you can ask down at the bottom of the Mount of Olives listening to Jesus was a leper and in, ver in chapter 8 None of us that read Matthew 7 and 8 ever connect these stories. And just because they're in a different chapter, it just was the next moment. Jesus, the Bible says, came down off the mountain. And a leper reached up and got a hold of Christ, committing a social distancing felony. If you were a leper, you weren't supposed to even be around somebody. But this leper lost his mind, broke the law, and reached out to Jesus. And said, if you want to, you can heal me. Where did he get that from? Jesus could have said, what are you talking about? You're a leper. But he never had the chance because his, the leper's eyes said everything. You know, a moment ago, I was the off scourging of the earth. Rejected. I was nothing. I was a walking disease. And then I heard you say up there, ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. 
knock and the door will be open. And then you told me that even though I'm a leper, even though I am cursed in the eyes of the Jews, I am a child of God. I have a heaven. I have a heavenly father. Whoo, is that revelation right there? Then Jesus committed a felony, reached his hand, touched that leper, and said, I want you to be healed. You're going to be healed. And the leprosy left that man. His skin was regenerated. His life was changed. Oh, God, let us see miracles in our day like that. A lot of people don't know about Fresno, California, but we do. 10,000 homeless people in over 150 homeless camps. Cities being torn to shreds. There's a gang there that has taken the name of the University uh, of Fresno, the Fresno Bulldogs. They, get, they took that name. And they're the most, in my mind, the most dangerous gang in California because they have no rules. A 10-year-old kid tried to get in the gang, 12-year-old, excuse me, 12 years old, murdered an 80-year-old couple to qualify to be a part of the Bulldog gang. One of the initiations is you have to try to take the life of a police officer. So our people could care less about the danger. They are Frank Saldana and in Inner City Action out of Stockton who have partnered with us on a permanent basis to put up our tent and send in the workers. I mean the elite of the elite that work the streets and pray for people. So they were going to go to Fresno and it, we were locked out. Fresno has a violence problem, a drug problem an absolute devastation of a city. And I was living in Reno, and we just moved to the Nashville area because the tent crusades have exploded so much that we have to be centrally located in the United States. And it's because we moved to Nashville that we are able to have meetings on the East Coast. Somebody say amen. There we go. So... In the middle of the night, that day, I had been reading Matthew 7 and 8. And when I read Matthew 7 and 8, I saw the leper as clear as a bell. Went to sleep, woke up in the middle of the night. My wife is used to this, God talking to me at all hours. God speaks to her just as well. And we understand that our life is totally committed to this. And there is nothing that that woman right down there does not want to see more than soul saved. It's the greatest passion of her life is to see soul saved. That's the only way we can be together. So it's the middle of the night. I wake up and I see a face. It's a young man in Fresno. Then God said, this is the face of a young man in Fresno. And he has all of the things that are indescribable. The, the look of someone on heroin. The look of someone in a homeless camp. The look of someone in a violent gang, all embodied in one countenance. And with a broken voice, he says, if you want to, you can help me. And I turned into a felon. Yeah. 